Good day. In this video, I will explain to you how to simulate rolling two dice and recording the sum of uh, 250 times uh, throwing these two dice. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to fill up uh, this one from 100 to 250 times. Most of the people, they use one, two, three, and they continue, or uh, some they use this method, they highlight one, two, three, and then just they will drag this one down, you can see the number is increasing, uh, this one, up to what number you want to stop. But there is another way is uh, better and faster. You put here number one, and then you go to home, from home you go to uh, uh, home, you go to fill, and then uh, series, and from series here you select column because I want to fill up this column from 1 up to 250, and then OK, you can see we generate for me the numbers 100. If you want to see up to the end, you press Control Shift arrow down. You can see it's up to 250. It's already filled this uh, uh, column. Now, before I will generate uh, this uh, simulation, generate these numbers, uh, I want to explain uh, what is the probability of getting uh, some as 2 or 3 or 4, 5 up to 12. Uh, if the dice, this is dice 1 and this is dice 2. If both of them give number 1, the sum will be 2. If uh, dice 1 gives 2 and dice 1 give uh, 1, 1 plus 2, it will give me 3. And so on. You can see here the maximum number I can get or total is the 12, both of them take 6. Now, the probability to get 2 actually it is only 1 over 36 because that's 36 uh, boxes here. Okay, to get 3, uh, only 2 over 36 and so on. This is the probability. I will put it here. This is uh, a use here as a text, only for uh, coming to you, but here I will put equals, okay, equals 1 over uh, 36. Okay, the second one, it will be 2 equals, let's put equals, equals 2 divided by 36, and so on. It will if the number is not appear like this, normally he will appear as general like this. It's okay. But if you want to, to make it uh, in a fraction form, you go to here and you select uh, more format, a fraction, then I select uh, this one, okay. Then okay, he, he may write it like this. Okay, now I have the probability uh, to get 2 is 1 over 36, the probability to get 3, 1 over 18, and so on. Now, to generate uh, or simulate uh, this uh, total of 2 or summation of 2 die for each throw, we throw it 250 times, uh, I need to use data analysis. Okay, this one. But before I will talk about it, uh, I want to tell you this is sometimes you will not find it in your Excel. You need to install it. You go to File, you go to Option, and from Option you go to Add In, and then here go and be sure you will check the Analysis Toolbox. I have. It. Now to start over here. Then I will select from here random generating. I will select here 
uh, this click uh, number of variable is only one and how many uh, times I want it 250 times uh, what uh, this one I want to uh, this I will not select the label because I don't have a label here okay be sure you not add the label in the box and then where is your output your output I want it to be here and I will click OK. And then I will wait until he will generate. It will take a few seconds or maybe minutes, depending on your computer. And then he will start to generate uh, for me the 250 uh, probability okay, uh, of this simulation. OK. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are waiting. Uh, for this 250 to show up okay it's already there and um, we can see uh, the first throw to dice uh, appear number seven uh, possible one of this maybe one plus six or uh, five plus anyone here the first uh, throw the total was seven the second uh, throw was a total of three seven five and so on for 250 uh, times now i want to test if this uh, probability is uh, true this is actual come from uh, generating by simulation my computer uh, i can calculate how many number one how many uh, number uh, two two sorry there's no one two up to twelve I can use count if here, but um, I will use uh, another way. Okay, I will go to data. I will go to data analysis, and then I will use uh, histogram. Okay, the input range. Okay, the input range. Okay. The input range from here up to the end uh, since this one is very far uh, i will press Control shift arrow down he select all the 250 uh, numbers and then the range he will calculate this one okay including some because i can use this one label where I want my output, my output I want it here, and also I am interested in to see the chart. Okay, okay. Okay, you notice here he uh, calculated, and then you can see. Number seven is the, the highest one. Okay, you can see here is uh, number two appear uh, four uh, times. Uh, if you want to double check, you can use the command. Uh, let's check number uh, uh, the summation of two. How many times appear? Equals count count if. Okay, the range from here. Control shift arrow down. This is the range. Okay. Comma. What number? Number uh, two. Okay. How many times two? Enter. It will tell me four times, which is correct. If you want to know number 10, double click. What about number 10? How many times appear? Okay, enter. It will tell me number 10 is 18 times. Okay. Uh, this is how it looks like. If you want to calculate the probability, if it is matching this one, this is the 250 times equals to this frequency appear uh, four times from 250 times 
okay it will be 0.6 uh, okay i will just make it a percentage okay make it percentage around two percent okay 1.6 okay i can't uh, grab this one up to here you can see this one let's say my, i make this one also in percentage uh, in uh, uh number and make it percentage okay uh, you can see uh, this is uh, 2.7 supposed to be appear less five is five is almost the same eight is ten okay there is something fun. if you want to uh to get perfect you need to generate a lot of uh, times maybe one million times or something but take a lot of time uh, this one you will be uh, more generation number more uh, uh, accurate uh, or you reach the perfect uh, probability in uh, this one uh, i hope uh, you learn something new today and uh, uh, have a nice day and thank you for watching uh, this video thank you